Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today's video is part two of my Zara vs Manga haul. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will leave it linked below, but you don't need to watch that before part two. You can watch them in either order. But basically, I've just ordered 10 pieces from Mango, um, Zara, and 10 almost identical or super similar pieces from Mango. And I'm just filming a little bit of comparison. So first impressions, and then I will try each piece on and style up into a full spring outfit to show you how I would wear each piece. Um, as usual, everything will be linked below in the description box, along with any other pieces I styled throughout, the outfit I'm wearing now, my jewellery, it will all be linked down there. So um, yeah, just check the description box. But if you've got any questions about anything at all, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But let's get going with the video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Zara box because last time I started with Mango, so just to change things up a little bit. And the first piece out of the Zara box is this stripy long sleeve t-shirt. And I say t-shirt, but this actually feels like a cross between a t-shirt and a jumper or a sweater. It's kind of like a very thick long sleeve t-shirt. Um, if you saw part one of this video, you will have seen that I mentioned that a lot of these pieces or the majority of the pieces I ordered are kind of spring wardrobe staples. And like I mentioned, I just think stripes epitomize spring style. And so I thought a long sleeve um, striped t-shirt was a really great wardrobe staple for spring. This one is 100% cotton, feels nice quality, looks nice quality, really nice tone, kind of like a cream rather than white. I know it's looking quite white on camera, but it is quite cream with a black stripe. Uh, but yeah, I like that. Let's see the mango one. Okay, so colour-wise, the mango one is super, super similar. Like, you can't really tell the fabrics apart. They're both cream with a either very dark navy or black stripe. This one may be slightly more cream. Um, this also feels quite thick as well. Not quite as thick as the uh, Zara one, but it does still feel quite thick, which is quite good for that transitioning period when you still want a little bit more warmth. This one is also 100% cotton and feels lovely quality as well. Oh, I have just noticed though, well, I'm not sure about that. I've just noticed on the bottom left-hand corner, there's this big patch here that says, make your own art. And I feel like that kind of ruins the style at the top. I would much prefer it if it wasn't there. Maybe when it's on, you won't see it if it's kind of tucked into high-waisted jeans, but yeah, first impressions, I prefer the Zara one just because of the simplicity and, and not having the tab on it. Okay, so first up, I've got on the Zara top, and this feels really comfortable on. It's quite oversized, as you can see. It's quite loose, nice long sleeves, and it feels like the fabric feels really lovely on as well. And I'd say it's slightly more casual than I thought it was going to be. It's got quite a chilled vibe to it. Um, I definitely recommend sizing down in this if you don't want it to be too loose, because you can see if I just untuck it, it is quite long and it is quite a boxy fit as well. But yeah, fabric feels really nice on. I like the tones of it. And I have just styled it with some blue jeans and tan accessories. We've got on a tan belt, tan loafers, and my tan bag as well. And I love how it looks styled like this. Just a super simple spring outfit. Um, for my jewellery, I am going to be styling up each outfit with some different pieces of jewellery because I am working with my jewellery on this video. So I've got a discount code for 10% off your first purchase. And I've got some new pieces of jewellery to show you, along with some other pieces that I've had for a while that I'm going to be styling up with each outfit. So for this first look, I've just popped in these thin 14 karat gold large hoops. And I love the look of a large hoop like this. Actually, I quite like how they look when I've got my hair in a bun as well. Um, but I feel like these are the perfect size for that large hoop, but without being too oversized. They're nice and thin, they're nice and delicate, and they feel really light and comfortable in my ears as well. My necklace is another new piece from Majuri and this is a delicate 14 karat gold chain with a solid handcrafted 14 karat gold pendant. And I think this looks really beautiful on its own but it also looks lovely stacked with other necklaces as well. So I'll style it stacked with some other necklaces later on in the video. And then for my rings, I've got on this gorgeous chunky 14 karat gold ring that matches the pendant on the necklace perfectly. And then on my ring finger, I've got this beautiful stacker wishbone set. And these can be purchased together as a set or separately, but I just think they look so beautiful stacked together. One is just plain 14 karat gold, 
and then the top one is 14 karat gold with tiny diamonds and they're so pretty so dainty just a really beautiful set of rings and then this is how the mango top looks on and i've just styled this one up with white jeans just to show you another way that i would style it in spring i love how it looks really simply styled with white jeans and beiges or any sort of trainer really um yeah i think it looks really cute like this i will also pop my black blazer on over the top as well for the cutaways just to show you how I would wear it to kind of transition into spring at the moment for an extra layer. I think it would look nice styled like that as well. Um, yeah, the manga one feels really lovely on. Again, super comfortable, very soft. It feels, I'd say it feels slightly softer than the Zara one. And like I said before, slightly thinner fabric. This one's also got quite wide cuffs on it as well, which I quite like. Um, the only thing I'm not a huge fan of is this patch here, but I think it is quite subtle once it's styled on and this bit tucked in. It's not too obvious, but I would personally prefer it if it didn't have it. Um, so I think if it didn't have the patch, I would prefer the manga one because it feels that little bit nicer on, especially for coming into spring and even summer but I think I would probably have to go with the Zara one. Okay, the next piece that I ordered is a black leather jacket. And I don't personally need a new black leather jacket in my wardrobe, but I feel like it's that time of year coming into spring where you're kind of losing the wool coats from winter and looking for a new leather jacket for your wardrobe. So I thought it would be really useful to compare the Mango and the Zara ones, especially because Mango usually do really great leather jackets this time of year. Um, so obviously first up is the Zara one. This looks gorgeous. It looks very similar to my All Saints leather jacket, which I love, I wear a lot. Um, it feels lovely quality. The leather feels very soft. It feels very thick and heavy. It's obviously got quite a lot of zip detail going on. So there's two on this side, one on this side, and obviously the zip down the middle. And then obviously the silver details on the collar as well. So there is quite a lot of silver hardware going on, which I think for me, I tend to wear more gold jewellery. So I would be, I don't know, I'd prefer if there wasn't quite so much zip detail going on. But the quality of the jacket looks and feels lovely. Really impressed with that on first impressions. Oh, and price-wise, this one was £119. That is lovely as well. And then this is the mango leather jacket. So a very similar style. Again, it's got the silver hardware on it. I think most leather jackets tend to be silver, don't they? First impressions, this looks like a slightly more classic style to the Zara one. If I just hold this up next to it, you can see that this is a little bit more biker-ish style, whereas this is slightly more classic, just the one zip either side, and it hasn't got the belt detail at the bottom either. Um, but again, the leather feels nice quality. I ordered this one in a size small. Okay, this one was £119.99 as well. So pretty much exactly the same price. Okay, so first up I've got on the Zara leather jacket. And this feels really lovely quality on. Like I said before, it feels very similar to my All Saints leather jacket. Not quite as soft or as good quality, but it does feel like a really lovely leather and nice and thick and I like the kind of cut of it. I would just mention the sleeves are quite long. If I just sort of leave my arms flat, you can see they are very long. So if you're petite or if you find things, if you've got quite short arms, then I would say maybe this isn't for you because of how long the sleeves are. But I don't mind that. I quite like the fact that they're a little bit longer. I'd rather them be too long than too short. <laughs> it fits me perfectly in the size small. This is the size that I would go for. And I think it also feels like I could wear a hoodie or like a jumper underneath it and it wouldn't feel too restrictive. Um, like I said before, the only thing I would say about this one is that I wish it didn't have quite so many silver zips on it. I feel like it just makes it that little bit too biker style. There's just a little bit too much going on. And I've just kept it really simple and styled it with a white t-shirt, washed black jeans and my trainers. I do think it would also look amazing with an all black outfit, but I thought coming into spring, I'd keep it slightly lighter. And then for my jewelry, I've just popped in these chunky gold hoops. And these are one of my most worn pairs of earrings from my jewelry. I wear them so much. I just love how chunky they are but also very small at the same time they're actually in the same style as the necklace and the ring that i had on before but these are gold vermeil so rather than being 14 karat solid solid gold they've got a thick layer of gold on top of sterling silver 
and they last really well they don't tarnish i have worn these so so much and they're still in perfect condition and then i've just switched up my ring so on my middle finger i've got on this 14 karat gold croissant ring with the diamonds running through it which is stunning and then this one is the same ring but this is just plain gold plain 14 karat gold and then on top of that one i've just stacked it with a 14 karat gold dome ring as well and i love how these two look stacked together just to give a bit more of a statement look but also that they look lovely on their own as well. And then for my necklaces, I have stacked up a couple more necklaces with the one I had on before. So I've got the same pendant necklace as before, and then this beautiful flat chain from Majuri that I wear so much. This is one of my favorite pieces. I just love the style of the chain and the way it captures the light. And then I've also got another very delicate 14 karat gold chain with a winged pendant on it. And again, this is one of my most worn pieces of jewelry and it just, stacks with other pieces really nicely. And then this is how the mango jacket looks on. And again, this feels lovely on. The leather feels lovely quality. It's a really great fit. It's like, I've got a little bit of room underneath it. Again, I could fit a jumper underneath if I wanted to, um, but it fits really well. Sleeves are the perfect length. I'd say that this was probably more of a classic style, like slightly more of a timeless style, where the Zara one's a little bit more on trend with the uh, belt and the zip details whereas this one's a little bit more yeah a little bit more simple just the zippy at the side no detail at the bottom it's slightly more fitted as well I don't know you know I like this arm because I feel like it's a little bit more similar to my All Saints jacket but I feel like this is a slightly more kind of mature classic option with without all the details going on um, so yeah, I think it's probably a personal one with this depending on your style which one you prefer but I would be very interested to know your opinions if you think the Zara or the Manga one's nicer. Next up is a midi skirt. And I know I mentioned all of these pieces are kind of key wardrobe staples and a snake print midi skirt isn't really kind of a wardrobe staple, but I feel like I style up a lot of trousers and shorts and jeans on my channel, not many skirts. And I think coming into spring with a capsule wardrobe, which by the way, let me know if that's something you'd like to see, a spring capsule wardrobe. Um, but I feel like as part of, part of a capsule wardrobe, a midi skirt works really well, styled with a leather jacket, with a blazer, with a t-shirt and trainers, with boots and a shirt. You can kind of style something like this lots of different ways. So I noticed both Zara and Mango had a very similar animal print midi skirt. So I thought I'd try them out and compare them. So this is the Zara one. I ordered this in a size extra small and it was $29.99. Um, it's kind of in a very lightweight, silky fabric with a slight fainted pleat to it, but not too extreme. It kind of just quite a subtle, subtle um, pleat to it, which is really lovely. Um, yeah, it feels nice. It feels lightweight. I think there's lots of different ways I could style this. I will see how it looks on. And then this is the Mango Snake Print Midi Skirt. Um, so this is slightly less, it's not quite as silky as the Zara one. I will hold them both next to each other in a second so you can see. This one's actually got an elasticated waist and it isn't pleated either. It sort of just flows out slightly at the bottom. Fabric wise, I feel like this feels slightly better quality than the Zara one. Very similar tone, very similar print. The mango one's just got a little bit of a, a slight texture to the fabric as well, which feels really nice. And I think I prefer the slightly warmer, more golden tone of the mango one than the kind of slightly more pinky tone of the Zara one. But obviously I will see how they look on because I think skirts, it really depends how they fit and how they fall, doesn't it? So I'll see how they look on. But this one I ordered in a size small and it was $49.99, so quite a bit more expensive than the Zara one, which obviously explains why it feels nicer quality. But yeah, we'll see when it's on if it's worth that extra money. This is how the Zara skirt looks on. And I've just popped on with a t-shirt, leather jacket and trainers, because this is one way that I like to style midi skirts coming into spring. And I thought in my head that it would work, but there's just something about it that isn't quite working now I've popped it on. I think it's because the skirt's pleated, but it's also a little bit puffy it just doesn't really work how I expected it to and I also think because the skirt's a little bit too big it's just sitting lower on my waist than it should be 
and it, uh, it just feels a little bit wrong. It could work styled with a pair of black knee-high boots or over-the-knee boots underneath it and maybe like a fitted black roll neck tucked into it for slightly more of like a streamlined look. Um, it might work a little bit better like that, but I think like this, it just doesn't quite work. I've kept most of my jewellery the same as the pieces I had on in the previous outfit, but I have just changed up my earrings and I've popped in these gorgeous croissant hoops. And this is one of the first pairs of earrings I've got from a jewellery and they're still one of my favourite pairs. I wear them so much, absolutely love the style of them and they are gold vermé as well, so again, a more affordable price point. And then I've also popped in this gorgeous little 14 karat gold ear cuff. And I've already got like a beaded ear cuff from a jewellery that I wear so much. I'll insert a cutaway of that as well. But I wear that one so much that I thought I would also try out this little dainty one in 14 karat gold. And it's just beautiful. And this is the mango skirt. And I just feel like this looks so much better on. I feel like the fabric's nicer. It's a nicer tone. It's a better fit. I am wearing it in a size small and I could have sized down to the extra small. But I just think the way it drapes and then flicks out a little bit at the bottom, it's just a nicer style of skirt and it feels nicer quality as well. I know it was obviously a fair bit more expensive than the Zara one, but for me, it's worth it. And I styled it in exactly the same way as the previous skirt, just so that it was easier to compare the two. And this is my All Saints leather jacket as well, in case you're wondering. And I'd say it's probably slightly more similar to the Zara one, but obviously this has got the black button detail, so it keeps it a little bit more subtle. I will leave this one linked below as well. And I've just switched up my hoops and popped in this little ribbed pair that I got from a jewelry a couple of months ago and I've worn them so much since I got them. And I also just stacked the little beaded cuff on top of the other one, just so that you could see how they look stacked together. And I think they work really well like that. Okay, next up is definitely a wardrobe staple for spring. And it is a classic cotton white shirt. And I just think you can't go wrong with a simple cotton shirt in spring. I mean, all year round, really, but I think as a wardrobe staple, you definitely need a piece like this. So this is the Zara one, very simple. It's just got one pocket on the left-hand side. It is probably 100% cotton, I would imagine, but I would just double check. Yeah, 100% cotton. It feels like quite a lightweight cotton, like it could be a little bit see-through. It feels quite, I don't know if you can see my hand through there, um, but it feels quite a lightweight, slightly thin cotton. And I got this one in a size small and it was 22 99 And then this is the mango one. Again, I ordered this one in a size small and it was 29 99 so slightly more expensive. So again, very simple, classic white shirt, just the one pocket on the left-hand side. Again, 100% cotton, I would imagine. Yes, 100% cotton. It feels very similar, actually, to the Zara one. Both feel like quite a lightweight cotton, which I suppose is what you kind of would want coming into spring, summer. You don't want too thick, heavy cotton shirts. Um, I'd say that that one looks maybe slightly more oversized, a little bit more of a sharp collar on it. But yeah, very similar. I think obviously I will see how they look on and compare them on. Okay, first up is the Zara shirt. And I have just steamed this because it was super creased when it came out of the box, which I feel like usually white cotton shirts like this crease quite easily anyway, but it was it was very creased. So just bear that in mind. I feel like even, even after steaming it, it feels like it will crease quite easily when I'm wearing it. Um, but the fit of it's really nice. I like the fact that it's boxy. It's a little bit shorter at the front and then longer at the back and it looks really nice um, styled like this, untucked with a pair of trousers. It feels nice and lightweight on. I have got a black bra underneath and you can see it ever so slightly, but if I had a nude bra on, it would be absolutely fine. Like it doesn't feel like it would be too see-through. And I also quite like the fact that this bit is open. So the first button starts here and it naturally sits open like this, which is nice. Not the best quality shirt I've ever tried, but for like, you know, for the price, it's just a great little basic oversized shirt. And I've just styled it with these navy trousers from the previous video. I will leave these linked. And I think it looks really lovely styled like this, either as workwear, if you had it with smart footwear, um, but even just with trainers as like a casual day look, this looks really great styled like this. And for my jewellery, I've popped in some really beautiful pearl pieces. So first of all, I've got in these gorgeous little pearl drop-down earrings that I think are just 
beautiful. I love how they look just styled like this, but I also think if you were looking for like a really special pair of wedding earrings, these would be stunning. Like imagine these with your hair up and just like these little pearls showing. I just think they're so beautiful and they feel really comfortable in as well. They're not too heavy. And then I've also got on this beautiful little dainty pearl necklace. And I've never really been drawn to pearl necklaces before. I didn't really think they suited my style, but I spotted this one on my jewelry and thought it was so pretty and delicate. And I absolutely love how it looks, especially stacked with other gold necklaces as well. I think it's so, so pretty and it's really affordable as well. This one's under hundred pounds, really great price. And again, would be lovely as wedding jewelry as well. And then just to finish off with the pearls, I've also got on this beautiful pearl wraparound bracelet. And actually when this first arrived, I thought it was the necklace that I, that I had ordered because it comes in one long piece and then you wrap it round. So it's got this little gold hook through detail. I think on its own it's beautiful but again I have stacked it with a couple of other gold bracelets. This one is the same as the chain that I've got on, that flat kind of shiny style chain and this one is another new one. I did actually feature this in my recent favourites video that you may have seen um, but it's just a very delicate 14 karat gold chain with a little C initial on there. And then on this hand, again, I've got on the two wishbone rings. And then I've also popped on this beautiful new ring from Majuri, which again is 14 karat gold, but a really great price considering it is 14 karat gold. And it looks stunning on its own, but it also looks really lovely stacked with other rings as well. And then this is the mango shirt. And it's very similar to the Zara shirt. Both are quite oversized both quite boxy. I'd say that this one's slightly more oversized and it just feels a little bit better on. I don't know, I think it's just the way it hangs. It just feels a little bit, a little bit cooler. I think maybe because it's got that sharp collar so you can wear it open and it just sits up and it just looks a little bit more, a little bit more masculine and just, yeah, I don't know. I just prefer it. I feel like it looks better with the outfit. Obviously size down if you don't want it to be quite so boxy, but I really like this look, especially styled with trousers or jeans or even with shorts coming into summer. I love the look of a really baggy white shirt. Um, and yeah, this just feels really nice quality and I think I prefer it to the Zara one. And then the final pieces that I ordered from Zara and Mango to compare are two gorgeous khaki blazers. And if you saw part one of this video, you will have seen that I ordered two pink blazers, which were both beautiful. Um, but I feel like as a wardrobe staple, one of those pieces that you can style in loads of different ways and bring out year after year, khaki is that little bit more of a wearable colour that works really well styled with lots of other colours or lots of other kind of neutral tones. So, this is the Zara one, which looks gorgeous. I mean, Zara blazers are always beautiful anyway, as are mango ones. Um, this one I ordered in a size medium and it was $79.99. I'm not sure what made me go for a medium. Maybe, it, maybe because it wasn't oversized and I wanted it to be a little bit more boxy or maybe they didn't have a small. I'm not sure, so I wouldn't usually have gone for a medium. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too big. It looks like a pretty good size. It feels lovely quality. It feels quite thick, actually. So probably better for this time of year, maybe not so much summer. But it looks gorgeous. Really lovely tone. Really lovely style. Just a very simple, single breasted, one button in the middle. I like that a lot. Let's check out the mango one. Oh, that's beautiful as well. That is gorgeous. So this is the mango one. This looks absolutely beautiful. Let me just compare the colours next to each other so you can see this one's slightly more, slightly darker, slightly more of like a grey tint to it. Whereas this one's slightly lighter and it's got almost like an olivey green tint to it. Um, but the quality of this looks gorgeous. Really lovely cut, really lovely feel to it as well. And it's just got the two buttons, two kind of like tortoiseshell buttons and then the button detail on the sleeve as well. Um, yeah, first impressions, I think this one feels slightly nicer, but I will see how they both look on. Okay, so first up is a Zara blazer, and this is gorgeous. I did think that it was going to be a little bit too big, but actually now I've got it on, I think it's a pretty good fit in the medium. I like the fact that it's that little bit boxy, that little bit masculine. It's got quite prominent shoulder pads. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it's got quite prominent shoulder pads, which kind of adds to that masculine vibe. Um, the only thing I would mention is that it is quite long for a blazer. So I'm five foot six. 
Um, and if you're petite, I feel like you definitely need to size down in this one because it's, yeah, it's slightly longer than a regular blazer would be. Um, but the quality feels lovely, the colour of it's gorgeous, and I think it would work really well in autumn, winter with layers underneath it, but also looks great in spring, summer with just a t-shirt. So I've just started with a white v-neck and blue jeans. I've also got on black belt and black loafers. And then for my jewellery, I've popped on this chunky gold from May chain, and I've also got on the matching bracelet as well, which I've stacked with quite a few other bracelets from my jewellery that I will also leave linked. This also comes in sterling silver as well if you're more of a silver person. In fact, quite a few of the pieces I've shown you do come in sterling silver as well, just to mention. And then on this wrist, I've popped on two gorgeous chunky bangles and then the same rings I've had on before, but I've just stacked up the little dot ring with two other rings on my middle finger and I think that looks lovely stacked. And I've just got this delicate little 14 karat gold band on my thumb with a tiny little row of diamonds as well. And then in my ears, I've just popped in these double hoops. And I feel like these kind of give the effect of having two earrings in. It almost looks like a larger hoop and then a smaller hoop next to it. And these are also gold for me, but they do come in sterling silver as well. And then finally, this is the mango blazer on. And this is also gorgeous. I feel like the color of this is just perfect, especially for coming into spring, summer. It's the perfect mix between being like a neutrally beige tone and it's got that khaki green tone in it as well. So I feel like it'd work with lots of different colors. Um, the only thing I'd say about this is that it's super oversized. So I'm wearing it in a size small and I could definitely have gone for the extra small. So I would really recommend sizing down in this one because it's gorgeous, but it is quite like you can tell the shoulders are quite large and it's quite a boxy fit as well. So yeah, definitely make sure to size down in this one. And it is fully lined as well. And the stitching detail on the inside looks really lovely. It almost just, it just makes it feel like it's finished to a high standard. So I would say fabric and quality wise, I think I prefer the mango one, but the fit of the Zara one was better on me despite it being a medium. Yes, so that's everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. And if you did, please do remember to give a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It and I find it really helpful to see if you enjoy this type of content and then I can make more comparison videos if you'd like me to. Um, I would love to know who you think came out on top between Mango and Zara. I know in part one of the video I feel like the majority of you were saying Mango. Obviously I haven't tried any of these pieces on yet but you will have already seen my impressions on each piece so yeah let me know who you think is the winner overall. As I mentioned before everything will be linked below in the description box along with any other pieces styled throughout and my jewellery but any questions at all just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video goodbye